other protocols observed? And my lovely children. I am bold and proud to be here this afternoon. Just to give you something very brief about education. I am not here to talk about money. I'm here to talk about something very important in the life of our children. With how much I do, the theme for the graduation ceremony is to invest in your child as we are in a crisis. Ghana is in crisis, but I am not in crisis. Ghana is bleeding, but I am not bleeding. Simply because I have a God in me that protects and provides for me. In as much as Ghana is bleeding, I refuse to be bleeding. I refuse to bleed. And so, in the midst of all the challenges Ghana is going through, Ghana has to go through. But I will not go through that challenge. As a child of God, one thing I believe so much is as long as my God lives, He provides everything for me. So as parents who are gathered over here, you must understand that even though Ghana is bleeding, you will never bleed. As long as you provide for your world on daily basis, from Monday up to Friday, you are able to provide shelter for your child. It means you have the capacity, you are capable of taking care of your own child. Even though Ghana is bleeding. I will never say that as long as Ghana is going through crisis, and therefore I cannot provide for my children. I won't say that. Never. Education has taken the center stage in our lives. And the same education has provided clear direction and a roadmap to those of us who want to be educated. Today, as we are gathered over here, we're going to ask you a few questions. How do we invest in the life of our children, even in the midst of this global crisis? This particular theme has been depleted in three ways. The first aspect goes to the parents. The second aspect to the teachers. And the third one, to the school at large. Because we cannot leave the child in the hands of the teacher or the school or the father alone to invest in. No. Some of us, my own life story was an example simply because after I completed my senior high school, I went to community college from the University of Cape My dad once asked me, what do you want to be in life? I said, I want to be a footballer. He insulted me. I said, we'll teach you our people. I was quiet. But I had a mother who stood behind me and said to me, my son, I will do everything humanly possible for you to become who you want to be in the future. I said to my mom, God bless you so much. I have a lovely mother who stood behind me from the one to where I am today. And largely, when I was about to go to Canada for my PhD, no money was there. But somebody took me from nowhere to somewhere. Somebody I never met before. Somebody I never knew from anywhere. But he took me from the crisis I found myself, lifted me up to where I am today. That is why when the team came to me, I said to myself, what a lovely thing we have for the day. Lenners came here displaying all kinds of things over here. Today is their day. 
Today happens to be a day in their life where every one of them is so happy and excited. But one major factor here parents are not getting to understand is how we are trying to appreciate what they are doing over here. Appreciation is the key to motivate the learner who is going through a process. I would have loved to see the MC parading every single performance that they have gone through over here and call the parents to come and pick their awards. Because it is very important. What is happening today happens in the life of every child who has taken upon him or herself to go to the seat of education. Many of us will not be educated on the same road, on the same way, on the same pattern. They have the privilege to be here. That is why they are here to be educated. Now, to my lovely parents, we are in crisis. And Ghana is in crisis. But you are not in crisis. Amen. Amen. Are you in crisis? Are you also bleeding? Are you suffering? But Ghana is suffering. But you are not suffering. That is good. We have brought into the world wonderful children who, if you look at their future, is always bright. How do we then invest what we have to enable the child to get to a certain level in his or her life? Some parents who don't understand the education thing, the teacher becomes the only magician to perform such miracles in the life of the child. And the answer is capital. No. The parents must make sure we put our heads together, we do our best. What is important in the life of the child, we do that first simply because the life of that particular child solely depends on the parents. What do you want your child to become tomorrow? You must determine that from now, before the future comes. Preparation begins from now, before tomorrow comes. And so if you don't know what your child will become tomorrow, and you keep on paying his or her school fees, then I'm here to tell you, you are only throwing money away. We are not here to throw money away. We are here to invest in the life of that child. How do we do that? It's a question. Most parents wake up in the morning, they're in a hurry to go to work. Some of us see our kids once in a week. If not weekends, then maybe on Sunday. Some of us leave the house at dawn. We come back in the evening once they are in bed. So we don't have to spend with our children at home. You are not investing in the life of your child. My lovely parents, you need to have significant time to spend with our kids at home. Show them some love and make sure you do your best to put a smile in the face of that child. Many of you think once I am paying the film fee, the school fees, you know, and all the other fees, then I am playing my part. No. You are playing your part, but your part will not be felt on the ground. You have to do much more than what you do in making sure that at least the child has a certain love in him or her to the parents, the mother and the father. To my lovely teacher, here at Super Kid, and one thing I have found here is the teachers are good. They are super good. And they are doing their best.
to make sure they put their house in order. I listened to a boy over here who spoke about education. He said, education is my best friend. If indeed education is our best friend, then it is telling us that we need to make sure we embrace education. My lovely teachers, we have a lot to do. We are doing, we are working, but again, a lot has to be done in the house. You have a mother who has a vision, it's a visionary woman, she's a leader, she's a mentor, 